Okay, today we're gonna make a quick shrimp stock for our shrimp and grits. So make sure you use the heads and a baby squid if you got one. I forgot about that little fella. Put them in the oven, 300 degrees for 30 minutes or more. And while that's in the oven, get your stock going. So I've got about a quart and a half of water in here. Uh, I've got tricolor peppercorns, rosemary, bay leaf, chicken base, mustard seeds, and dried bell peppers in here. Uh, if you don't know anything about dried bell peppers, they're amazing. I use them all the time. I haven't used a real bell pepper in probably eight months. So bring this up to a bowl and then down to a simmer. Leave it at a simmer and that's what you want. So simmer that until you get your shrimp shells. Now, once you get your shrimp shells out of the oven and they're roasted, go ahead and put those in the pot. And then if you're like me and you finally find that little squid that was left in there, we took that little fella out. <laughs> I didn't even know he was in there until that. So um, put those in there. Roast your shells. It makes a complete different dynamic in your uh, stock and makes it 10 times better. So make sure you roast them. Now, leave this on a simmer for another hour or two or as long as you can. It's only going to get better with time. Trust me. If you have to add more water, that's fine. But just keep reducing that same stock until you get the flavor you want. Now, strain that stock when you're done with a fine mesh strainer and some cheesecloth. That's what you get. That's what we made with it. Make sure you please like, subscribe, ring the bell, 